morning guys happy friday it is three o'clock and i am headed to my um two week surgery follow-up hope everyone's having an awesome week it's tgi friday um if you haven't had a chance um make sure you check out the faith friday series I'm doing this before I actually recorded the Faith Friday series. So it may be with just me. It may be me in the bay. I don't know yet. So make sure you go back. I'll have a link in the description box. And if I can remember, I'll put it above. I don't know if you can see me. The sun is like so bright. So it is 95 flipping degrees in Florida. And I have been freezing since last night. We went to TJI Friday to have a coaches meeting. And it was so cold in there. And I got home, it was cold. I was like with a heating pad, you know, in between the blankets. It was horrible. And I mean, until I just stepped outside, I was still cold. So, yeah. I'm not gonna try to make I'm trying to make the video shorter or if it, if it comes up that it's a 20 something minute video that means I'm trying to include two days so I'm trying to you know bear with me on this editing um because I don't want to ever seem like I'm rambling along and people get bored or something so um yeah so I'll, that's all I'm gonna do is I, I may go a couple stores um, I did uh, find a lot of stuff at a uh, thrift store, which I'm going to do a separate haul video. I'm trying to combine everything that I found at wherever I'm going so I could just do one video. But nothing much going on. Stomach still kind of upset. Um, I think that's because I'm not on my cell set, and that was one of the things that I knew once I started the Ben Lista that it was working because I didn't have all the upset stomach and cramping and the, you know stuff like that and I've talked to my husband that I really want to look at trying to do maybe pescatarian I can't you know I'm not saying I can't go vegetarian or vegan or whatever that just does not I've never done anything that drastic so I'm like at least I can do baby steps and uh you know, I, I can deal with seafood and some vegetables, so we'll see how that. I'll let you know when I start. So, because I know it's, you know, known that they feel like lupus starts in the gut, and I kind of believe it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna just do some more research first. Um, I'm not gonna do it probably until maybe like a month from now or something. Like, um, I, I really gotta get back on my meds before you know trying stuff so if the doctor says everything is good to go i will um resume my cell step tonight i just didn't want to start it prematurely and if he saw something or felt like what i feel like the soreness is infection related i just didn't want to jump the gun so yeah all right guys i'll come back um after the appointment talk to you later hey guys i'm done at the doctor very frustrated very very frustrated so he got an addendum to my uh pathology and this bacteria grew um i think he's called it intercostus i don't quote me i'll look it up and try to put it in the um across the screen um but he says it's a bacteria that you find in the intestines and so now i have to be on seven more days of antibiotics i'm just like lord give me strength because i'm scheduled to have my been listed next week next thursday that's not going to happen because you know you can't take the been listed when you're on antibiotics so I'm really really not like happy right now and I knew it was sore and like I told him it wasn't a sore, it was a sore. I'm 
just at a, I'm just over it. Like, I'm over it. So, technically, looking at things, I haven't been on my bin list. months I've had myself up maybe a week so I don't know and guess what my doctor is closed on Friday so can't call them to tell them anything to make any suggestions I just I don't know I'm, I'm just baffled and that's one thing like I said, we never get to just take seven days worth of anything. We always have to take I just want to feel better. Like, it's one thing that you have to deal with just lupus and everything that comes along with it. And now it's like trying to recover from the surgery. So, I'm really not in... I'm, I'm just going to end the vlog because I'm just aggravated at this point. So, I was going to go to some stores, but I'm not. I, I just want to go to the pharmacy and freaking go home, eat some more. Like, I didn't even eat breakfast. I had some chips. And then I made myself eat, like, a sandwich so I could take some of my other meds. Um... Oh, yeah I'll see you guys a little later hey guys it is Saturday night and it is 9:43. I am going to get something to eat um, I've had a productive day but I'm paying for it um, So I was able to get up and clean, like I cleaned the entire, entire kitchen, I cleaned the living room, um, I organized some of the office, we found a desk, and I stripped the beds in the one guest room uh, since our son uh, left. So, I didn't do floors anywhere, but when I tell you my entire body hurts, it's so painful right now. Like, I laid down probably 30 minutes after I did the kitchen, and I probably went to sleep for 30, yeah, 30 minutes I fell asleep. And then I got right back up and started working on um, the other rooms because I've been tired of the house. You know, when you're sick and you don't feel good, stuff just gets behind. And, um, I was just like, okay, I'm going to finish this. I was determined no matter what. And by the time I got finished in the office, that was the last place. I had like a little stool, like, you know, the bar stool. I couldn't even barely lift it. This thing felt like it weighed 50 pounds. And it probably weighed five. My feet are swollen. I ended up laying down. I think I fell asleep at about 6.30. And I kept trying to get up. And I was like, have you ever been so hungry? But that doggone lupus and that bed? Gotcha. Can't even move. So, I hope everyone had a good Saturday. I'm going to vlog a little bit tomorrow. Um probably put out this video tomorrow it'll be in conjunction with everything that I found out Friday at the doctor so yeah talk to you guys um, on tomorrow but I'm going to Whataburger yes lord what a junior with some grilled onions is calling my name but I'm so sleepy I could barely like moving to get to the car I feel like I'm 92 years old if that's you know I don't even know what 92 year old feel like but I feel like that's what I should feel like if I was 92 so yeah
but I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Everyone's having an awesome day. I, it's about 1.30, just getting out of the house. I need to clear my mind. So I didn't make church. Um, I was really hurting um, this morning and I was like all up off and on all night. So um, I am now getting ready to get out. It's cloudy. It's, it's probably it's gonna rain. I just don't know when. I haven't looked at the weather. So I'm gonna probably go to that one store roses that I was telling you guys about. And then there's a Dollar Tree in that same parking lot. And I may try to hit a uh, Lowe's. Um, but yeah, I'll see how it goes and how I feel. Like my legs are still extremely heavy and tired. My back still hurts, but I need to get out of the house. Too much going on in my head and I just need a break so it's time for me time today so I will try I probably do if I, I if I vlog any while I'm in there it'll be on a separate video um, but I just wanted to come in and say hello I'm gonna try to get this edited so it'll be Friday Saturday Sunday on one video yeah so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit guys one store down coming to roses i found a lot of good deals um so i will definitely be doing a haul video on everything i got here that stuff i got at the thrift store the other day um i'm gonna try to go to this dollar tree but i just need for y'all to know this store is in like the hood side of town like it's crazy because there's a christian school across the street and a college which is a good school, but it's like, you really are in, you, you hear the sirens. So I'm gonna see about going to this um, other Dollar Tree. Um, it's just kind of leery down this side of town. There's like, we have like what's called a grocery outlet, which they have really cheap food, but when I say it's hood, it's hood. I, I, I don't know how else to to say it so you have to definitely <laughs> be aware of your surroundings that's all i'm gonna say i'm gonna run in this dollar tree and see if i can find I'm looking for these mirrors and it's a hard thing to find them um so i'm gonna try to go there and then i'm gonna hit up Lowe's.